I'm going to take something to Rick now. Yo, go for a bit of a drink, mate. We had a nice little hard section there just to paddle up. Now we're getting into the next part where the waves are starting to get and grow. Leading still paddling, but he's now getting a bit of a butt. Mm. You can see they're going off this way. So instead of going straight for the hot water, across them, we're going to angle ourselves at 45 degrees with them and get just a little bit more of a push out of them. Yep. And as it grows, we will turn even more to go with them to get a nice little bit of a yep. out of them. Yeah, so when you're in a race, a longer race, you actually look for, for the benefits of finding a good pass. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a single came in and I said no way he could find waves to surf but even the most slow slow uh, swells he did. It was not fast but he saved a lot of energy. And we're going like a sailboat with the wind. So you're looking at the right side of the nose. Yeah, so I'm looking from pretty much anything here to up here. It's just this little segment. Okay. You know there's a wave over here that yeah. you can get onto. And when you turn straight at them, it's gone. It's a very short ride. Yeah. The nose is in a wave and the tail's on a wave. Yeah. At this point, when you're at 45 degrees, the majority of the boats are between the wave. Yeah. Meaning that you're able to ride it. Yeah. Still, whatever it is, no matter how small it is. You're still able to ride it, and that's why you look at this little quadrant over here. Yep. So you see, if there's a wave still coming over, you know that you can still ride the belly that you ah. And as it gets bigger, we'll find we'll turn the boat even more yep. to the left to ride the wave even longer. As we get further up, it's 
space between the waves also increases on the wave period. Yep. And when that increases, it's a good sign for us. Because being a double, we're much longer and have much longer wave period is beneficial for both. And especially for a surfing ride. But we are going for technique, so... Exactly. Yep. So using a technique, we're able to catch you. No problem. There we go, always eyeing up. The way to the right. Look at that. Yep. When you get a much longer ride, you immediately feel that pressure on your shoulders and your lats become significantly less and your paddle strokes lighter Now you can start looking a little to your left just to see if there's a longer period between the waves. Yep. Still not, so we keep heading to the right. And now you can see the waves are a lot bigger than they were before. Yep. Again, very encouraging. I'm going to turn more to the left now to give you an idea why we, we're still going to the right. Yeah, here the, the period is very short. Yes. So now you can feel that you're going to paddle a lot. Yeah, more. it's uphill all the time. And the nose is always up, yeah. up, up. Yeah. As soon as I turn it to the right, it points itself back down the way and the boat glides better. Uh, it's almost like the boat finds itself uh, a place in the waves. Yes. Very it's very easy to feel now. And I like those like today because they give you that opportunity to really get a good feeling for what it's like. And the waves are small because on a bigger scale, Exactly the same, just the waves got a lot more power inside of it. See, look at that, we're now moving a lot quicker. Both moving along. As we pass the lighthouse, the wave field will uh, increase. Yep. Giving us a much longer ride time. And the wave field always just looking from here. Over here. Yep. This is the range is telling me a lot about what's coming through. That little, little sliver, that little piece of sight increases in size when the waves get bigger. And then you can eye out further and see how far you can go with yep. the waves. There you go, look at them now. It's starting to really get up now. Comfortable. Yes. Lovely. Ow. Wow. That's Super nice. Good. I'm really trying to look at the left, right side now, just to see. There you go. Okay. Yep. You can see when you look on the left, you can see the wave pass underneath the nose. Yep. Slide off to the left. Yep. When you see this little wave period here, when it starts increasing, you know that we are able to encourage ourselves yep. to go in that way. So the slightly bigger way. Yeah. Get a long ride out of it. Starting to show again. Rolling ourselves up back to an average. 
Time you see a YouTube video, it's more of us always to the right. Is that some kind of natural instinct? No, it's where the wind direction blows from. Oh. It's very seldom that you see that the ship is coming. Oh. I mean, if you went to the other side of the bay, um, like Strand, a lot of us find we are tense because the surf is going to catch them. Sorry, so catch right, surf left. Yeah. Catch right, surf left. It's the opposite way around. It's, it's catch right, surf left. Yeah. So when you're so used to doing it a certain way, Yeah. 
go with it or just slosh over the back and still part of the yeah, yes. and end up behind it. Yep. That's why we don't stop on those four ones. It's a very, what you call, uh, a calm but a little powerful cadence, but very relaxing somehow. Very relaxed. So your cadence or your strength is that power. Yeah. Very, very relaxed when you're on there. It's concerning you all the time. Go for it. Over strong over, turn to the left more. Slow down. It passes. There we go. Now there's a little wave. Just yeah. in front of Yeah. We are not going super fast, but we are not using much energy. Here we go. We're not paddling over the waves. No, we're slow. Yeah, we're working with them. Working with them. Try and get the plates in the waves. So that we can get much harder. Although it's a little bad paddle hard. Yeah. So you'll miss a lot of the opportunity. Yeah, then you're in your race mode. And <laughs> They look a lot what I'm used to. Yeah. I was on uh, two winters ago. We were playing 16 to 18 meters per second. And, and it, it, we have a fjord that's at almost a tunnel. I was going 18 for one kilometer. Wow. But uh, afterwards I said, ah, that is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> there was another time where there was another way pushing you from the back. It, it, it was so easy to do. But, uh, and as you have a table in front of you. Perfect description of it, like a table, flattens out. Yeah. Now you have to ride with them. 
then you're breaking. from being hard to a joyride no. <laughs> and you cannot go fast today anyway so why not just do it, make the best of it exactly. this is actually very cool But, but the, the gap you're talking about is like the reverse of the top of a wave. No. Oh. It's, the, it's the lowest point of the wave. Yep. So now we're sitting on the peak. And now you look at the peak in front. And now yeah. you're looking at the lowest point of the yeah. wave. Yeah. Makes into it. As opposed to a wall in front. So off to the right. 
So big hill up speed, going to the left, right, find the hole, uh, go for the, the, the peak and go back in the hole. Because I cannot feel you doing it today. Yeah, but turning about that snow, uh, what do you call it? Flutter from the rudder. Vibration. Yeah. yeah, I can clearly feel it. <laughs> and it's, it's, you pointed out some many, many good things. I can see it now. to fill them because I think the other day was super good too but I have to say it's not the big wave you're talking about it, it's something mentally this is easier because here is all the waves we are talking about Yeah. There it is. 
that is yes. There's many benefits today for me because I have a little more time to try to focus on getting uh, paddling in sync with you. Yes, as opposed to the other day where it was very fast and bit more of a challenge. Yep. Now well, yeah, we got out to the big ones and that was fun. Yeah, it's fun, but yeah. I actually think I learned more here. <laughs> no, you do. You'll definitely learn more on days like that. Beautiful run. Very nice. Ahead of us. Oh. Uh, well, definitely get there before us. Eh? Yep. That's fine. And they're coming in hot. Now look, we're starting to surf more for yep. our See how the waves are picking us up now. Push a little harder, we're pushing a bit over the bridge of the sand. Nothing too bad, is it? Let's slow down as we sit on the top. Very nice. You can now see those slightly bigger waves. Yeah. They kind of roll up. But they're off flat like a table now. It's a bit more of like a little pitch. Yeah. Between the way we're riding on the one front. Good sign, on the waves are got a bit more power behind you, as you can feel now. When you put all power down, you have to come here and over a couple more. You still move. Our average speed has gone up. Oh, is the swell not going the opposite way? So no, you have ground swell. That's going the opposite. It's well, going the opposite, yep. however, when it's the northwest, this wind drop cancels out the ground from the Oh. So all the action being affected by whatever's coming from behind and pushing us. Yep. The surface water is being dictated by the wind. There's a seal to our right. Yeah. Hello, seal. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Woo. I hope my lens is not <laughs> solvent. <laughs> Is this a sea lion or a seal? A seal. Yeah. Do we have sea lions here? Now and again, when they come to visit, they are much bigger. Yeah, they're huge. No slots. And very, very rarely, uh, on the other side, we've had a very solo visitor from the Antarctic. Oh. Uh, elephant seal. Oh. Just like they are massive. Yeah. And also a. Uh, yeah. We have one walrus at this jump. So usually it's generally the smallest deal we can do with every day. Yeah. Many years ago I was fishing in Ireland, something called Rock of Kalu. There was a big male bull sea lion. They, they say it was maybe one and a half ton, 1,500 oh. kilos. It was huge. Please that Yeah. And I don't know if it's true, but it's the biggest yeah, i ever seen. And the, the biggest enjoyment for it was when we catch the mackerels on, on the lines. It uh, swim over and took the mackerels from the lines. 
so we could, and but he didn't need it just spit it out again <laughs> really bastard hey, yo, bro. This was perfect. I learned a lot. And I got the, this time I more have the feeling in the boat also what happens. Good. That's what I want. Also you were talking about you can feel it in the shoulders when the boat is moving a little. I haven't thought about it before, but it's true. Enough feel able to feel movement. And when you're able to paddle and feel it at the same time, you start learning how to become more at one with the ocean. And the ocean works with you as more, more times than you against it. Yeah. Which is so nice. Like now, look at us. Yeah, we don't see anything, but it's there. It's there. And you can feel how the yeah. boat responds. It's just shoot forward. Fall off the back. Nice and slow for now. Now we go to pick ourselves back again. We're going quite a bit to the next here. Past the waves, it's just a little harder. There we go. Now circling back to the right here. So this we could actually, actually call this the CC Tops because my last name starts with Z oh. <laughs> My name is Silke <laughs> and, you, and you're Zachary so. <laughs> Yeah, super nice Yeah, 
Nice, you learned a lot. Where have you been all day? Um, we have been talking way to Freary. No, 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 this is not a pace run. This was way Freary when it was absolutely best. Yeah. In yours, it's just like being less responsible for other people's rights. <laughs> Start with Seth, okay. and my last name is like also Seth. Seth. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> CC top, top. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.